today i am going to make analysis of an assembly in which we have pulley and which has two lever at both sides and we have to apply a static force over here and we have to fix this pulley for that we have to open new study in the study advisor after clicking we have to select the static analysis for this assembly click ok after that you have to apply fixture on this surface of the pulley for that you have to right click on the fixture menu click on the fix geometry and select the face which you would like to fix after clicking as you can see the selected face is shown over in this box so this pulley is going to be fixed after that if you want to go apply a force on in any place then you can apply that force over here and if you want to tell that what is the value of this force or if you can also choose the unit of this force I am going to apply unit force of 100 Newton over here and if you want to apply this force in a particular direction then you have to choose selected direction and in that case you have to choose a plane over where you want to apply so in the, you have to apply in a particular direction normal to the force and for a particular component you have to choose the particular plane in which direction you want to apply after selecting this plane you can see that the direction of force is changed after that you have to click ok now we have an assembly with all the constraints after that you can run a mesh on this assembly and after that you can run the solver you can also run both the things at the same time by clicking this mesh and then and before that you have to apply material on all the components of an assembly i will already applied materials on, on this component as you can see that i already chose a material for this component which is ca gray cast iron for the crank pulley and for the crank arm 1 and the crank arm 2 i apply material that is alloy steel and for the crank arm axle I apply material that is chrome stainless steel after application of the all the materials with respect to each and every component you have to run the mesh and then command it takes some time to create a mesh of the assembly and then the solar now the solver is running as you can see that after making after ending the solver it shows that on the application of 100 newton force the deformation over here and by clicking all the result you can see each and every other with respect to the applied force and the fixture we applied you can also animate all these outcomes by just clicking this and which have three different features you can set the frame of that movement also you can if you want to make a run each and every time when you click this play button you have to chase you can see that uh, when i click on play button it shows a deformation we want to choose that this deformation is going to be running continuously so you can select this and play so you can see that the deformation or the animation is run continuously 
you can also save this file as an AVI if you want okay if you want to change the result of any output after running the solver or if you want to locate that what amount of deformation or what amount of forces is acting on a particular component so by clicking on the stress plot oh sorry uh, by clicking on the you can actually put a plot tool from here you can place a probe for getting the result at a particular point so as you can see when i clicking at these instances there are several nodes which are created with respect to that the value of that point is also shown in the purpose which was generated by clicking you can also plot all the result by clicking over here that you can see that at what point what is the node and what is the stress which was generated at that point after this you can also take help of advisor also if you want to see the chart of these things then or if you want to change the range of this so you can select the type of output which you want in which you can choose the number of up to what value it shows the outcome so if you want to select two then it will show the output up to two decimal and if you want to change the color of that in particular range so from here you can change the ranges by selecting this after clicking you can see that the output chart is going to be small one more thing if you want to make section clipping with respect to that the object is shown in a cut section form we want to change the plane of these then you have to just click over here remove that plane or if from here and whatever plane you want to choose in a particular manner it shows the cut section of the particular section you can choose any plane whatever you want with respect to that the section is going to be happen also if you want to exclude exclude any component from this analysis so you have to just go in the main menu where all the com components are shown in the diagram by clicking over here you can exclude a component from the analysis so if you want to exclude a component you just click which component you want to exclude so in my case i want to exclude crank pulley one so from here and keep clicking right click make a right click on this crank pulley one it shows that it open the window and it shows uh, an option of excluding from analysis after as you click the component is excluded from the analysis and you can also see that the fixture we applied over here is going to be unapplicable so you have to delete this application of load from here and you can also hide that component which you want don't want to see 
from the analysis so with this as you can see that my chart is not in actually I want to just plot in section clipping there is no section clipping over here so section plane reset ok as you can see that the fixture is not over there so I just want to apply a load over here So, in fixture case, fixed geometry, I want to apply a load over here and you can see that the face is selected. After selecting the face, you can run the mesh. With that case, you can run the analysis. Than all studies, it takes some time to make the analysis. In such a manner, to make several analysis by just excluding a component or including a component and put the load value on the components With respect to that you can see that there is no such deformation by fixing over here and put a load of 100 newton over here this is from today